I'm delighted to join you in proclaiming April 26, 2022 to be Frederick Law Olmsted Day here in Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> but I, I have to confess, when I first saw this item on today's agenda, I, it wasn't obvious to me why we were bringing this proclamation Fourth, um, Of course, I know and admire Frederick Law Olmsted. He was born in 1822, died in 1903. He's the father of landscape architecture. Uh, Frederick Law Olmsted designed some of the most beloved public spaces in America. Even if you don't recognize the name Frederick Law Olmsted, you probably know and admire his work. For example, if you like New York City's Central Park, Boston's Emerald Necklace, the UC Berkeley campus, the Stanford campus, or the University of Chicago campus, then you're a fan of Olmsted's work. He designed all of those spaces and dozens more too. And this year marks the 200th anniversary of his birth. Those are all things to celebrate. Still, I, up until recently, I did not think of Olmsted as being a Portland guy. Uh, there are no parks in Portland that were designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, but thanks to this proclamation, I learned that there is a connection between Olmsted and Portland, and it comes through his son, John Charles Olmsted. As we heard today, uh, John Charles Olmsted worked in his father's landscape design firm. And in 1903, that firm was hired by an early version of Portland's Park Bureau to develop the city's first comprehensive plan for a park system. The plan that Olmsted presented to city council in 1904 was visionary. He proposed a comprehensive system of parks and parkways. Unfortunately, most of those parks um, that were presented in the first plan were never built, but that first parks plan laid the foundation for how Portland thinks about plans for and manages our city's parks. Now, Portland hired Olmsted's law, uh, landscape and architectural firm because they were the world's leading purveyor of the City Beautiful Movement. Now, the City Beautiful Movement was an approach to urban planning, which was popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s and helped shape the way many American cities, including Portland, uh, look. Um, as the name suggests, this movement was focused on making cities more beautiful. The City Beautiful Movement was reacting to the fact that in the late 1800s, early 1900s, American cities were grim, gritty, and largely industrial landscapes. Advocates of the City Beautiful movement wanted to make cities more livable by building things like parks. Advocates of this design philosophy argued that such beautification would make for a happier, healthier, and more virtuous citizenry. So as we prepare to celebrate the life and legacy of Frederick Law Olmsted, I hope that we here in Portland also remember his son, John Charles Olmsted. He helped create the city that we all know and love today. Colleagues, for these reasons and more, I'm glad to join you in declaring April 26th, 2022 to be Frederick Law Olmsted Day here in Portland, Oregon. Thank you.